A tumulus plural tumuli is a mound of earth and stones raised over a grave or graves. Tumuli are also known as barrows, burial mounds or kurgans, and may be found throughout much of the world. A cairn, which is a mound of stones built for various purposes, may also originally have been a tumulus. Tumuli are often categorized according to their external apparent shape. In this respect, a long barrow is a long tumulus, usually constructed on top of several burials, such as passage graves. A round barrow is a round tumulus, also commonly constructed on top of burials. The internal structure and architecture of both long and round barrows has a broad range. The categorization only refers to the external apparent shape. The method of inhumation may involve a dolmen, a cyst, a mortuary enclosure, a mortuary house, or a chamber tomb. Examples of barrows include Dougalby Howe and Masho. The word tumulus is Latin for mound or small hill, which is derived from the Proto-Indo-European root asterisk tea tu with extended zero grade asterisk tum, to bulge, swell, also found in tomb, tumor, tumescent, thumb, thigh, and thousand. Topic. Tumulus burial accounts The funeral of Patroclus is described in Book 23 of the Iliad. Patroclus is burned on a pyre, and his bones are collected into a golden urn in two layers of fat. The barrow is built on the location of the pyre. Achilles then sponsors funeral games, consisting of a chariot race, boxing, wrestling, running, a duel between two champions to the first blood, discus throwing, archery and spear throwing. Beowulf's body is taken to her onceness, where it is burned on a funeral pyre. During cremation, the Geats lament the death of their lord, a widow's lament being mentioned in particular, singing dirges as they circumambulate the barrow. Afterwards, a mound is built on top of a hill, overlooking the sea, and filled with treasure. A band of twelve of the best warriors ride around the barrow, singing dirges in praise of their lord. Parallels have also been drawn to the account of Attila's burial in Jordanes's Getica. Jordanes tells that as Attila's body was lying in state, the best horsemen of the Huns circled it, as in circus games. An old Irish life of Columcell reports that every funeral procession halted at a mound called Ela, whereupon the corpse was laid, and the mourners marched thrice solemnly round the spot. <laughs> Topic. Types of barrows Archaeologists often classify tumuli according to their location, form, and date of construction see also mound. Some British types are listed below Bank Barrow Bell Barrow Bull Barrow D-shaped Barrow, round Barrow with a purposely flat edge at one side often defined by stone slabs. Disc Barrow Fancy Barrow, generic term for any Bronze Age barrows more elaborate than a simple hemispherical shape. Long Barrow Oval barrow, a Neolithic long barrow consisting of an elliptical, rather than rectangular or trapezoidal mound. Platform barrow, the least common of the recognized types of round barrow, consisting of a flat, wide circular mound that may be surrounded by a ditch. They occur widely across southern England with a marked concentration in east and west Sussex. Pond barrow, a barrow consisting of a shallow circular depression, surrounded by a bank running around the rim of the depression, from the Bronze Age. Ring barrow, a bank that encircles a number of burials. Round barrow, a circular feature created by the Bronze Age peoples of Britain and also the later Romans, Vikings, and Saxons. Divided into subclasses such as saucer and bell barrow. The six hills are a rare Roman example. Saucer Barrow, a circular Bronze Age barrow that features a low, wide mound surrounded by a ditch that may have an external bank. Square Barrow, burial site, usually of Iron Age date, consisting of a small, square, ditched enclosure surrounding a central burial, which may also have been covered by a mound. Topic. Modern Barrows 
In 2015, the first long barrow in thousands of years, inspired by those built in the Neolithic period, was built near all cannings in England. The project was instigated by Tim Daw, a local farmer and steward of Stonehenge. The barrow was designed to have a large number of private niches within the stone and earth structure to receive cremation urns. The structure received significant media attention, with national press writing extensively about the revival of the structures, and various episodes of filming, for example by BBC Countryfile as it was being built. It was fully subscribed within 18 months. This was followed soon after by a new barrow near St. Neots. Further plans to revive barrows are in development in Herefordshire and at Sultan in Shropshire. Topic. Sites Topic. Central Asia The word Kurgan is of Turkic origin, derives from Proto-Turkic asterisk Kur, to erect a building, to establish. In Ukraine and Russia, there are royal kurgans of Varangian chieftains, such as the Black Grave in Ukrainian Chernihiv excavated in the 19th century, Oleg's Grave in Russian Staraya Ladoga, and vast, intricate Rurik's Hill near Russian Novgorod. Other important kurgans are found in Ukraine and South Russia and are associated with much more ancient steppe peoples, notably the Scythians e.g., Chortomlik, Pazirik, and early Indo-Europeans e.g., Ipatovo Kurgan. The steppe cultures found in Ukraine and South Russia naturally continue into Central Asia, in particular Kazakhstan. <laughs> Horn of Africa Salwane in northern Somalia contains a very large field of cairns, which stretches for a distance of around 8 kilometers. An excavation of one of these tumuli by Georges Revoil in 1881 uncovered a tomb, beside which were artifacts pointing to an ancient, advanced civilization. The interred objects included pottery shards from Samos, some well-crafted enamels, and a mask of ancient Greek design. <laughs> Eastern Europe Topic. Albania Tumuli are one of the most prominent types of prehistoric monuments spread throughout northern and southern Albania. Some well-known local tumuli are Kamenica tumulus Lofkin tumulus Pajak tumulus topic. Bosnia and Herzegovina More than 50 burial mounds were found in Cuppers. Man from Cuppers the skeleton found in one of the tumuli is believed to be more than 3,000 years old and it is kept in Gorica Museum in Livno. Glashinich has many tumuli. During the Bronze and Iron Age it was a place of strong Glashinich culture, who buried their dead in tumulus. <laughs> Bulgaria Hundreds of Thracian burial mounds are found throughout Bulgaria, including the Kazanlik and Sveshtari tombs, UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Located near the ancient Thracian capital cities of Suthopolis of the Odrysian Kingdom and Daustava or Helis of the Gete, perhaps they represented royal burials. Other tombs contained offerings such as the Panagurishti and Rogozin treasures. Croatia There are thousands of tumuli throughout all Croatia, built of stone Croatian, Gamilla, Gromila in the karst areas by the Adriatic Sea or made of earth Croatian, Humac in the inland plains and hills. Most of these prehistoric structures were built in the 2nd and 1st millennium BC, from the Middle Bronze Age to the end of the Iron Age, by the Illyrians or their direct ancestors in the same place. The Liburnian inhumation of dead under tumuli was certainly inherited from the earlier times, as early as the Copper Age. Smaller tumuli were used as the burial mounds, while bigger, some up to 7 meters high with 60 meters long base, were the cenotaphs, empty tombs, and ritual places.
Topic: Hungary. There are over 40,000 tumuli in the Great Hungarian Plain. The highest is Gadeni Halom near the settlement of Bikeshsentandras in Bikes County. Sir Halom origins and forms are diverse. Tells graves, border barrows, watcher barrows. Topic: <inaudible> Serbia. <inaudible> 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 Mr. Kajevci, several prehistoric tumuli Bukovac, Illyrian tumuli and necropolis Five prehistoric tumuli in the Morava Valley Gromile, Serbian tumuli in Ravna Gora <laughs> Western and Central Europe Austria Bergstallkogel Salm Valley Grossmugel in Niederösterreich Pilixdorf in Niederösterreich Niederholabrunn in Niederösterreich Geisruck in Niederösterreich Langenlebarn in Niederösterreich Deutsch Altenburg in Niederösterreich Bernhardstall in Niederösterreich Siegendorf in Bergenland Schandorf in Bergenland, Kleinklein in Steiermark, Niederfellebrunn, Oberhofen Amir C, Obermailburn, Unterzagersdorf. Topic: Belgium. Two tumuli of Ambrosen, Liege. Tumulus of Avernas in Hannet, Liege. Height: 8 meters. Circumference: 100 meters. Tumulus of the Champ de la Tombe in Braves, Liege, 1st century AD Roman tomb. Tumulus of Court Saint Etienne, Walloon Brabant, around 3000 BC. Tumulus of Glimes in In Court, Walloon Brabant, Gallo Roman period, height 11 meters, diameter 50 meters. Tumulus of Hadamont in Ramillies, Walloon Brabant, tomb of height 11.5 meters, diameter 50 meters. Tumulus of Olai, Leek, Liege. Tumulus of Petpin of Landen in Landen, Flemish Brabant. Tumuli of the Sonian Forest, Flemish Brabant, first millennium BC. Three tumuli of Grimde in Tienen, Flemish Brabant, first century BC Gallo-Roman tombs. Tumulus of True de Bilmont in Antoing, Hainaut, sixth and seventh century Merovingian tombs. Tumulus of Walhain, Walloon Brabant. Two tumuli of Warem, Liege. Tumuli of Wares, Luxembourg, fourth and third millennium BC. Topic: <inaudible> United Kingdom. In the United Kingdom, barrows of a wide range of types were in widespread use for burying the dead from the late Neolithic until the end of the Bronze Age, 2900-800 BC. Square barrows were occasionally used in the Iron Age 800 BC to 43 AD in the east of England. The traditional round barrow experienced a brief resurgence following the Anglo-Saxon conquests, with the introduction of northern Germanic burial practices from continental Europe. These later barrows were often built near older Bronze Age barrows. They included a few instances of ship burial. Barrow burial fell out of use during the 7th century as a result of the spread of Christianity. Early scholarly investigation of tumuli and theorizing as to their origins was undertaken from the 17th century by antiquaries, notably John Aubrey, and William Stukeley. During the 19th century in England the excavation of tumuli was a popular pastime amongst the educated and wealthy upper classes, who became known as barrow diggers. This leisure activity played a key role in laying the foundations for the scientific study of the past in Britain but also resulted in untold damage to the sites. Notable British barrows include West Kennet Long Barrow, Neolithic Long Barrow in Wiltshire Wayland Smithy, Neolithic Long Barrow and Chamber Tomb in Oxfordshire historically Berkshire Bella's Knapp, Neolithic Long Barrow in Gloucestershire Masho, Neolithic chambered cairn and passage grave on mainland, Orkney. 
Duggleby Howe, Neolithic Round Barrow in the East Riding of Yorkshire Sutton Hoo 7th century East Anglian ship burial with exceptionally rich grave goods in Suffolk Devil's Humps, Bronze Age Barrow Group on Bow Hill in West Sussex Devil's Jumps, Bronze Age Barrow Group on the South Downs of West Sussex Seamer Beacon, Bronze Age Barrow near Scarborough, North Yorkshire Topic. Czech Republic During the early Middle Ages, Slavic tribesmen inhabiting what is now the Czech Republic used to bury their dead under barrows. This practice has been widespread in southern and eastern Bohemia and some neighboring regions, like Upper Austria and Lusatia, which at that time have been also populated with Slavic people. There are no known Slavic barrows in the central part of the country around Prague, nor are they found in Moravia. This has led some of the archaeologists to speculations about at least three distinct waves of Slavic settlers, who colonized Czech lands separately from each other, each wave bringing its customs with it, including burial rituals. At places where barrows have been constructed, they are usually found in groups 10 to 100 together, often forming several clearly distinct lines going from the west to the east. Only a few of them have been studied scientifically so far, in them, both burials by fire with burnt ashes and unburned skeletons have been found, even on the same site. It seems that builders of the barrows have at some time switched from burials by fire to burying of unburned corpses, the reason for such change is unknown. The barrows date too far back in history 700 AD to 800 AD to contain any Christian influences. As Czech barrows usually served for burials of poor villagers, only a few objects are found in them except for cheap pottery. Only one Slavic barrow is known to have contained gold. Most of the Czech burial barrows have been damaged or destroyed by intense agriculture in the densely populated region. Those that remain are usually in forests, especially at hilltops in remote places. Therefore, there is no general knowledge about burial barrows among Czech population. The best Slavic barrow sites can be found near Davidin, a small village close to Seske Budiovice. There are two groups of barrows close to Vitin, each containing about 80 barrows ordered in lines. Some of the barrows are as much as 2 meters high. There are also some prehistoric burial barrows in Czech Republic, built by unknown people. Unlike Slavic barrows, they can be found all across the country, though they are scarce. Distinguishing them from Slavic ones is not an easy task for the unskilled eye. Perhaps the most famous of them forms the top of the Zaran Hill near Slavkov u Berna. It is from here that Napoleon commanded his forces during the Battle of Austerlitz. Topic: <laughs> France. Bougain der Sèvres tumuli are a set of five tumuli all at one site. The building and using took place over a long period from 4500 to 3000 BC. This set is considered to be one of the oldest Western European megalithic necropolis. The Bussy le Château commune Marne has five Roman, Visigoth and Burgundian tumuli, three of them remain relatively intact along the Noblet River. The Neolithic Saint-Michel de Carnac tumulus in Carnac was built between 5000 and 3400 BC. A few kilometers from Karnak are the 140 by 20 meters 459 feet times 66 feet Neolithic ur gras tumuli near the famous Broken Menhir. The five tumulus de Champ Chalon in the Benin Forest form a Neolithic necropolis in the Kirkan commune Charente Maritime. Dissignac tumulus is a Neolithic monument located about 5 kilometers west of Saint-Nazaire Loire-Atlantique. The tumulus of Lamalu Dolmen is situated at the headwaters of the Lamalu River. Tumulus and burial chamber Dolmen of Bergerie de Panissière is located near Ailes Guard. Tanuedo tumulus is located near Borbriac, Coates d'Armor, Brittany. Pere tumulus on Prisse la Charrière commune Der Sèvres, a Neolithic long barrow with tumulus 100 by 20 meters 328 feet times 66 feet, dating from 4450 to 4000 BC. 
Saint Fiacre Tumulus, on the Melrand Commune Morbian, is listed as Monument Historique since 1972. Appenweer tumuli on the Appenweer Commune Hot Rin are a set of nine small tumuli about 1.50 meters 4.9 feet tall and one higher at 4 to 5 meters 13 to 16 feet, not far to the northwest. The results of the excavations are exposed in the Unterlinden Museum in Colmar. Topic: <laughs> Germany. Hugelgrab, Barrow, Burial Mound, or Tumulus, sites in Germany dating to the Early and Middle Bronze Age. Barrows or tumuli sites in Germany dating to the Late Bronze and Iron Age. Barrows or tumuli sites in Germany dating to the Stone Age. Other barrows, tumuli in Germany of unstated date. Topic. Ireland A tumulus can be found close to the Grianon of Ailech in County Donegal. It has been suggested by historians such as George Petrie, who surveyed the site in the early 19th century, that the tumulus may predate the Ringford of Ailech by many centuries possibly to the Neolithic age. Surrounding stones were laid horizontally, and converged towards the centre. The mound had been excavated in Petrie's time, but nothing explaining its meaning was discovered. It was subsequently destroyed, but its former position is marked by a heap of broken stones. Similar mounds can be found at the Hill of Terra, and there are several prominent tumuli at Bru na Bowen in County Meath. Italy Some large tumulus tombs can be found especially in the Etruscan culture. Smaller barrows are dated to the Villanova period 9th-8th centuries BC, but the biggest were used in the following centuries from the 7th century afterwards by the Etruscan aristocracy. The Etruscan tumuli were normally family tombs that were used for many generation of the same noble family, and the deceased were buried with many precious objects that had to be the grave goods or the furnishings for these houses in the afterlife. Many tombs also hold paintings, that in many cases represent the funeral or scenes of real life. The most important graveyards necropolises with tumulus tombs are Veo, Servitari, Vetalonia, Populonia. Many isolated big barrows can be found in the whole Etruscan territory, mostly in central Italy. Tumulus of Montopoli is relative of archaic center Colli della Città along Peritiberina Way in Tiber Valley. Topic: Netherlands. Burial mounds are the most numerous archaeological monuments in the Netherlands. In many places, these prehistoric graves are still clearly visible as low hills. The oldest tumuli in the Netherlands were built near Apeldoorn about 5,000 years ago. Concentrations of tumuli from the Bronze Age are located on the Velu and Drenthe. Early scholarly investigation of tumuli and Hunabedden and theorizing as to their origins was undertaken from the 17th century by notably Johan Pickert. Although many have disappeared over the centuries, some 3,000 tumuli are known of which 636 are protected as Rijksmonument. The largest tumulus in the Netherlands is the grave of a king near Aas. Rijksmuseum van Oudheden, Drents Museum, and Huis van Hild have findings from tumuli in their collections. Topic. Portugal One of the densest manifestations of the megalithic phenomenon in Europe occurred in Portugal. In the north of the country there are more than 1,000 late prehistoric barrows. They generally occur in clusters, forming a necropolis. The method of inhumation usually involves a dolmen. The tumuli, dated from c. 4450 to 1900 BC, are up to 3 meters high, with diameters from 6 to 30 meters. Most of them are mounds of earth and stones, but the more recent ones are composed largely or entirely of stones cairns. In Portuguese, barrows are called mamoas, from the Latin mamulas, given to them by the Romans because of their shape, similar to the breast of a woman.
Topic: <inaudible> Scandinavia. Burial mounds were in use from the Stone Age until the 11th century in Scandinavia and figure heavily in Norse paganism. In their original state they usually appear as small, man-made hillocks, though many examples have been damaged by plowing or plundering so that little visible evidence remains. The tumuli of Scandinavia is of a great variety of designs, depending on the cultural traditions of the era in which they were constructed. The tumuli tombs may contain single graves, collective graves and both inhumation and cremation was practiced, again depending on the era, but also on geography. Many tumuli in Scandinavia shows a continuation of use from Stone Age to Viking Age. In the Viking Age and perhaps in earlier times as well, burning the deceased was believed to transfer the person to Valhalla by the consuming force of fire. Archaeological finds testifies that the cremation fire could reach temperatures of up to 1500 degrees Celsius. The remains were often covered with cobblestones and then a layer of gravel and sand and finally a thin layer of turf or placed in urns. The tumuli were used for ancestral worshipping, an important practice in Norse culture and many places shows continuation of use for millennia. Thus he Odin established by law that all dead men should be burned, and their belongings laid with them on the pile, and the ashes be cast into the sea or buried in the earth. Thus, said he, every one will come to Valhalla with the riches he had with him upon the pile, and he would also enjoy whatever he himself buried in the earth. For men of consequence a mound should be raised to their memory, and for all other warriors distinguished for manhood, a standing stone. This custom remained long after Odin's time. It was their faith that the higher the smoke arose in the air, the higher he would be raised whose pile it was, and the richer he would be, the more property that was consumed with him. Topic. Sweden Annenshag, located just outside the city of Vasteras, is Sweden's largest burial mound. Gamla Uppsala, the Royal Mounds Swedish, Kungsjogarna, is the name for the three large barrows which are located in Gamla Uppsala. According to ancient mythology and folklore, it would be the three gods Thor, Odin and Freyr lying in Kungsjogarna or Uppsala Hogar. Gravhog Gardstanga, situated in Eslav municipality, Skane County, is the site of a Bronze Age burial mound, Swedish, Gravhog. Hagahagen, King Bjorn's barrow in Haga Old Norse word, Hager, near Uppsala has a very strong connection with Bjorn at Hagi. Kungsjöger, an archaeological site on the Lake Malaren island of Adelso in Akero municipality, contains five large burial mounds. Skalunda Hog in Vastergotland, the site of Skalunda Barrow, an historic burial mound. Topic: <inaudible> Norway. Raknehaugen, dated to c. 550 AD, is located in the traditional district of Remerik. At 77 meters in diameter and a height of 15 meters, it is the largest tumulus in northern Europe. Gelhaugen outside Halden, Ostfold, considered the second biggest in Norway, and dated back to around 500 AD. Gokstadhaugen a burial mound in Sandefjord, Vestfold, revealed a ship burial containing the Gokstad ship, a Viking-era ship dating to the 9th century. The ship is the largest in the Viking Ship Museum in Bygdøy, Oslo. Osberghaugen, the Osberg burial mound at Osberg near Tonsberg in Vestfold County, contained the Osberg ship, a well-preserved Viking-era ship dating from around 800 AD. Borhagen Bor mound cemetery, forms part of the Bor National Park in Horten, Vestfold. The park covers 45 acres 180,000 square meters and its collection of burial mounds includes, seven large mounds and one twenty-five small cairns. Bathaugen, a boat burial mound found at Rolfsoy in Thun, Ostfold, contained the Thun ship, a Viking Age ship of the carve type. The ship was built around AD 900 and is made of clinkered oak planks. Storhog Great Mound ship's burial mound Avaldsnes on Karmoy in Rogaland County, Norway contained a ship made of oak. Grønhaug Green Mound, a ship burial at Avaldsnes, contained an approximately 15 meter (49 feet) long boat with remains of a man's grave from the 10th century. 
Flaghaugen Flag Hill Mound at Avaldsnes, one of Norway's richest grave dating from the pre-Viking period, contained a neck ring of 600 grams ZT of pure gold, weapons, bandolier mountings and various tubs of silver and bronze. Karnelshaugen, in Gloppen in the county of Sogn og Fjordane, is Karnel's tumulus. Osneshaugen, in Ulsteinvik in the county of Mor og Romstal, is a tumulus overlooking the Osnes beach. It is believed to have been sacked, and has not been excavated in modern times. It has been dated to the Bronze Age. Denmark Denmark has about 20,000 preserved tumuli, with the oldest being around 5,000 years old. A great number of tumuli in Denmark has been destroyed in the course of history, plowed down for agricultural fields or used for road or dike constructions. Tumuli have been protected by law since 1937 and is officially supervised by the Danish Agency for Culture. Examples of tumuli in Denmark are Whiting Skavho in Horsens Municipality, Jutland is one of Denmark's Bronze Age burial mounds built on the top of the hill. Hov Das in Thisted Municipality, North Jutland is one of Denmark's Neolithic burial mounds built on the top of the hill. Klekende Ho is a megalithic passage grave constructed in the Stone Age on the island of Mon. It takes its name from the nearby village of Klekende. Lindholm Hoge is a major Viking and Iron Age burial site and former settlement, situated to the north of and overlooking the city of Aalborg. Granjegers Ho, meaning the Mound of Green Hunter, dates to the Nordic Bronze Age and is located near Fainfjord Church on the Danish island of Mon. Gorm and Thyrus Hoge, two huge burial mounds at Jelling. Topic: <laughs> South Asia. Topic: India. The Ahom Kingdom in medieval Assam built octagonal tumuli called maidams for their kings and high officials. The kings were buried in a hillock at Charadeo in Sibsagar district of Assam, whereas other maidams are found scattered more widely. Pakistan The dam was a type of mound, or small stone structure, found in Baluchistan, including the coastal areas of Makran. <laughs> Alpha Aegean and Near East <laughs> Greece Some of the world's most prominent tumuli, the Macedonian tombs and a cyst grave at Virginia include the tomb of Philip II 359 BC, father of Alexander the Great 336 BC, as well as the tomb of Alexander IV 323 BC, son of Alexander the Great. A very large tumulus has been discovered in Amphipolis. Known as the Casta tomb, the tomb's occupant is presently unknown. Also numerous Mycenaean Greek tombs are in all essence tumuli, notably Agamemnon's site in Mycenae, and other sites in Tyrans, near Olympia and Pylos, and mostly in the Peloponnese Peninsula near Mycenaean sites and Bronze Age settlements. Moreover, in central Greece there are numerous tumuli, some excavated, others not. A notable one is in Marathon, serving as a burial for the ones who fell during battle. As of October 2014 there are ongoing excavations at the Casta tomb in Amphipolis, Macedonia, Greece with the tumulus having a perimeter of 497 meters. The tomb within is assessed to be an ancient Macedonian burial monument of the last quarter of the 4th century BC. Macedonian tombs, Korinos Macedonian tombs, Topic. Turkey On the Anatolian Peninsula, there are several sites where one can find the biggest specimens of these artificial mounds throughout the world. Three of these sites are especially important. 
Bin Tepler and other Lydian mounds of the Aegean inland, Phrygian mounds in Gordium central Anatolia, and the famous Comagene tumulus on the Mount Nemru southeastern Anatolia. This is the most important of the enumerated sites with the number of specimens it has and with the dimensions of certain among them. It is in the Aegean inland of Turkey. The site is called Bin Tepler, a thousand mounds in Turkish, and it is in the northwest of Salali district of Manisa province. The site is very close to the southern shoreline of Lake Marmara, Lake Yigas or Gigaea. Bin Tepler is a Lydian necropolis that dates back to 7th and 6th centuries BC. These mounds are called the Pyramids of Anatolia, as a giant specimen among them is 355 meters in diameter, 1,115 meters in perimeter and 69 meters high. According to Herodotus, this giant tumulus belongs to the famous Lydian king Aliades who ruled between 619 to 560 BC. There is also another mound belonging to King Yigas. The Yigas mound was excavated but the burial chamber hasn't been found yet. In this site, there are 75 tumuli dating back to Lydian period that belong to the nobility. A large number of smaller artificial mounds can also be observed in the site. There are other Lydian tumuli sites around Esme district of Yusak province. Certain mounds in these sites had been plundered by raiders in the late 1960s, and the Lydian treasures found in their burial chambers were smuggled to the United States, which later returned them to Turkish authorities after negotiations. These artifacts are now exhibited in the Archaeological Museum of Yusak. Gordium Gordian was the capital of the ancient kingdom of Phrygia. Its ruins are in the immediate vicinity of Palatli, near the Turkish capital Ankara. At this site, approximately 80 to 90 tumuli date back to the Phrygian, Persian and Hellenistic periods. Around 35 tumuli have been excavated so far, ranging in date from the 8th century BC to the 3rd or 2nd century BC. The biggest tumulus at the site is believed to have covered the burial of the famous Phrygian king Midas or that of his father. This mound, called Tumulus M for Midas Mound, was excavated in 1957 by a team from the University of Pennsylvania Museum, led by Rodney Young and his graduate students. Among the many fine bronze artifacts recovered from the wooden burial chamber were 170 bronze vessels, including numerous omphalos bowls, and more than 180 bronze Phrygian fibulae, ancient safety pins. The wooden furniture found in the tomb is especially noteworthy, as wood seldom survives from archaeological contexts. The collection included nine tables, one of them elaborately carved and inlaid, and two ceremonial serving stands inlaid with religious symbols and geometric patterns. Important bronze and wooden artifacts were also found in other tumulus burials at the site. The Mount Nemru is 86 kilometers in the east of Adiyaman province of Turkey. It is very close to Kata district of the same province. The mountain has, at its peak, 3,050 meters of height above the sea level. A tumulus that dates to the 1st century BC is at the peak of the mountain. This artificial mound has 150 meters of diameter and a height of 50 meters, which was originally 55 meters. It belongs to the Commagene king Antiochus I Theos of Commagene who ruled between 69 to 40 BC. This tumulus is made of broken stone pieces, which renders excavation attempts almost impossible. The tumulus is surrounded by ceremonial terraces in the east, west, and north. The east and west terraces have tremendous statues reaching 8 to 10 meters of height and bas-reliefs of gods and goddesses from the Commagene pantheon where divine figures used to embody the Persian and Roman perceptions together. Topic. Israel A tumulus forms the center of the ancient megalithic structure of Rujm el Hiri in the Golan Heights. Rujm in Arabic can mean tumulus, cairn, or stone heap. Near the western city limits of modern Jerusalem, 19 tumuli have been documented. Amarin, 1958. Though first noticed in the 1870s by early surveyors, the first one to be formally documented was Tumulus No. 2 in 1923 by William Foxwell Albright, and the most recent one Tumulus No. 4 was excavated by Gabriel Barquet in 1983. 
The association of these tumuli with the Judean kings who ruled Jerusalem does not substantiate biblical history since it is mere speculation. No inscriptions naming any specific Judean king have been excavated from a tumulus. More than half of these ancient Israeli structures have now been threatened or obliterated by modern construction projects, including Tumulus No. 4, which was excavated hastily in a salvage operation. The most noteworthy finds from this dig were two LMLK seal impressions and two other handles with associated concentric circle incisions, all of which suggests this tumulus belonged to either King Hezekiah Barke, 2003, p. 68, or his son Manasseh Grena, 2004, p. 326. When comparing the number of these tumuli to the total number of Israelite kings northern and southern, note that Saul never ruled in Jerusalem, and Athaliah was never crowned. She took the throne by force 2 Kings chapter 11 verses 1 to 3, and would certainly not have been honored with a tumulus ceremony following her brutal assassination. The northern kings did not reign over the southern kingdom, and they would certainly not have been honored with a tumulus ceremony in Jerusalem. If any ceremonies were held for them, they would have transpired in the north near Bethel, Terza, or Samaria. <laughs> East Asia <laughs> China The Chinese pyramids house the remains of some of China's former emperors. Before the expansion of Shang and Zhou culture through the region, many hundreds of tumuli were also constructed by the Baiyui peoples of the Yangtze Valley and southeastern China. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Japan. In Japan, powerful leaders built tumuli known as kofun. The Kofun period of Japanese history takes its name from these burial mounds. The largest is Daisen Ryo Kofun, or more commonly Nintoku Ryo Kofun, with a length of 840 meters. In addition to other shapes, Kofun include a keyhole shape, typically seen in Daisen Kofun. Foreign museums possesses some grave goods. Topic. Korea. See also Chanmashong, the Heavenly Horse Tomb. The first burial mounds in Korea were dolmens, which contained material from cultures of the first millennium AD, such as bronze ware, pottery, and other symbols of society elite. The most famous tumuli in Korea, dating around 300 AD, are those left behind by the Korean Baekje, Goguryeo, Koguro, Koguryeo, Silla, and Gaya states and are clustered around ancient capital cities in modern-day Pyongyang, Jeon, Jilin, Seoul, and Jongju. The Goguryeo tombs, shaped like pyramids, are famous for the well-preserved wall murals like the ones at Anak Tomb No. 3, which depict the culture and artistry of the people. The base of the tomb of King Gwangato is 85 meters on each side, half of the size of the Great Pyramids. Goguryeo Silla tombs are most noted for the fabulous offerings that have been excavated such as delicate golden crowns and glassware and beads that probably made their way to Korea via the Silk Road. Many indigenous Korean artifacts and culture were transmitted to the tomb builders of early Japan, such as horse trappings, bronze mirrors, paintings and ironware. North America Topic <inaudible> Canada Human settlement in Lansamur dates back at least 7,500 years as evidenced by the burial mound of a maritime archaic boy. His body was wrapped in a shroud of bark or hide and placed face down with his head pointed to the west. The site was first excavated in the 1970s. The Augustine Mound is an important Mi'kmaq burial site in New Brunswick. Tabor Hill is a Haudenosaunee burial mound in Toronto, Ontario. In the southern regions of Manitoba and Saskatchewan, evidence of ancient mound builders was discovered by archaeologists, beginning with excavations by Henry Yule Hind in 1857. In southwestern British Columbia, several types of burial mounds are known from the Salishan region. Hill Tout 1895. 
Topic: <laughs> United States. Mound building was a central feature of the public architecture of many Native American and Mesoamerican cultures from Chile to Minnesota. Thousands of mounds in the United States have been destroyed as a result of farming, pot hunting, amateur and professional archaeology, road building and construction. Surviving mounds are still found in river valleys, especially along the Mississippi, Tennessee and Ohio rivers, and as far west as Spiro Mounds in Oklahoma. Mounds were used for burial, to support residential and religious structures, to represent a shared cosmology, and to unite and demarcate community. Common forms include conical mounds, ridge top mounds, platform mounds, and animal effigy mounds, but there are many variations. Mound building in the USA is believed to date back to at least 3400 BC in the southeast. See Watson Break. The Adena and the Mississippian cultures are principally known for their mounds, as is the Hopewell tradition. The largest mound site north of Mexico is Cahokia Mounds, a vast World Heritage Site located just east of St. Louis, Missouri. See also Barrow Downs in Minor Places in Middle Earth Dolmen Stupa